Well, the anti-HST petition landed at the B.C. Legislature today, and the committee that's going to have to decide what to do with it has decided not to do anything, at least for now. The 10 MLAs spent their afternoon haggling over procedures before voting to come back again next week. Eventually, it will be up to them whether the petition forces an HST vote in the legislature or in a non-binding provincial referendum. It is not the quick decision that the opponents were hoping for, and tonight the Premier is defending not just the tax and the process, but his own career as well. It was billed as a historic day for democracy. In the end, the history barely lasted an hour, taking only 15 minutes to hit the first speed bump. Uh, sorry, I, I think I'm just going to call a five-minute recess just to make sure that we have the procedural uh, correctness here. Uh. The mission was clear for the NDP members for the first meeting of the Select Standing Committee on Legislative Initiatives. Take the anti-HST petition signed by more than 700,000 people along with the scrap the tax legislation that came with it and send it to the legislature for an on-the-record vote. I hope that uh, the MLAs would call on the Premier uh, to allow for a free vote. But the committee's Liberal majority voted that down, seeking answers instead about a province-wide non-binding referendum. The NDP claims the Campbell Liberals aren't acting out of public interest, but political interest when it comes to a referendum, because even though a vote could cost millions and millions of dollars, it also saves government MLAs from having to stand up in the House and vote for the HST. That's something not all Liberal cabinet ministers are keen to talk about right now. It's a bit premature to, to, to know uh, what actions are, are going to be next until we know what their final decision will be. Eventually, four New Democrats and five Liberals agreed to come back next week when they'll ask BC's chief electoral officer for more information. Because I think the government is actually uh, in chaos at the moment. They don't know what to do. It's a ridiculous procedural thing that I've never even seen anywhere in my life. I certainly don't apologize for doing things in a thorough fashion and making sure they're done appropriately. Ultimately, it's not so much what happened today, but the backdrop it's happening against. Watching the process, Blair Lextrom, the man who fell out with the Premier and his party so publicly when he quit Cabinet in June. Lextrom repeating his calls for the Premier to go. Resigning is not a word that I would use. Retirement is something. I think he served the public very well for the better part of a decade. Uh, it's very clear we see this issue uh, substantially differently. Campbell, resurfacing after a summer holiday in Europe, says not only is he sticking around, he plans to stay for a long time. Uh, I'm not intending to step down. Obviously, we've got lots of work to do over the next three years. But again, you know, last July we were elected to try and make sure that we did all the right things for the economy to be stronger. He's got the support of his cabinet ministers. I'm completely supporting uh, the, uh, the Premier and our, our cabinet and our caucus uh, right up until the time of 2013. Whether that support will hold may depend on what these people ultimately decide. Shachi Kerr reporting tonight.